hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old yet thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video in this tutorial we are going to design a roll-up banner using photoshop so let's get started open a new document then enter your dimension so I'm using 13.944 then by 32.806 then leave the resolution at 300 then you great so this is our background canvas now so now select your pen tool or you press P on the keyboard then click over here then click outside here, turn your hand by grating a shape, then hold the Alt key, then you click on that place, then click somewhere here, then join it together, then rotate your hand by creating a shape of your choice, then while doing this, hold down your control key, then transform to the shape you want, continue holding down your control key while you want to apply any transformation. So you will continue applying a transformation until you get the choice you want then you leave it all right this will be okay now you can't see it because the background is white so now i'm going to color copy this code Then double click here, Ctrl V to paste. Now, I want to apply a transformation. So select it, then turn it again to your desired position. then it's okay like this then duplicate it or you press ctrl plus j then hold down your alt key and reduce the size then copy this color code again Then double click here, then paste the color you copy, then duplicate it again or you press Ctrl plus J. Then hold down your Alt key and drag in. So I'm adjusting it. Make sure you hold down your control key before doing this. All right. So now this one is white color. So as you can see, I write it white there. So now apply white color. All right. Then increase the size. Okay. Now I'm going to draw another shape here. Then you drag it in this way. 
it's okay then hold down your alt key then you click on that dot there then click over here then click out then apply your shape again then it's okay like this hold down your alt key then you click on that dot then you combine it so now it has been joined together then i'll bring it down then it's okay like this then i'm going back to copy this color code Ctrl plus C to copy, then double click, then paste the color. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle at the top here. Somewhere here yeah, is okay. Then I'll drag it down. Then copy this color code. Then you paste it. As you can see, it's not full white. So I'll drag this one to duplicate it. then drag it down hold your shift key and drag it down all right now i'm going to copy the last code here then double click on it then paste the color code then bring this shape up so that it will appear so now we have gotten our background so the next thing now i'm going to copy this test here Then select your test tool or press T on the on your keyboard. Then increase the font size. Then change the color by clicking on this background color here. Then drop your selection tool, then increase the font size. now make it bold so duplicate it by pressing ctrl plus j then come here to copy your color and uh, your test again then ctrl plus v to paste it then align it with the screw then I'm going to copy this color for the test. Then change the font color. Then use your arrow key. Now I'm going to bring in this PNG which I download from Google then I'll position it this way it's okay then bring this other one reduce the size then I'll position this one around here Ctrl plus U 
then apply black then I will group this one then you copy your text again ctrl plus c then you come here to paste it increase the font size change the font color then I will align this one then apply this color here then I will change it to italic then drag it then drag it over here okay then come back to your test again then you copy this one remember ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font color then make it bold okay now make it more bolder then I'm going to duplicate this one highlight it then copy this text and paste it then select the two apply vertical alignment then change the font color okay so it's good like this then move this one up a bit now bring this design here then i will position it around here then copy this test here select your test tool Then what I did is to duplicate that one, then I'll drag it here, then I'll light it, then paste it. Then I'm going to open the space. Then change the font color to white. Then click on paragraph. Then select center. Then it's okay like this. Arrange it properly as you want it. Then you click OK.
then come over to your test again then you copy this one then click somewhere here then you paste it increase your font size then select left alignment increase it okay then copy this one then duplicate this one drag it down highlight it and paste the one you're copying then reduce the size select this one copy this color code then paste it Control plus V to paste Okay Here What I'm going to do now I'm going to select them arrange them So that I will not miss it up Then you rename this one. Okay, so I know where I'm working on now. Then this is what I'm going to use, but I'm not going to use this one. I will do it manually so that you will see it. Then um, what I do is to go to my brush. After selecting a new layer, then I pick this one. Then I'm going to change this color. Then you click to drop it. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then you copy your test. Select your test tool. Change the font color to white. Then you click. then paste so you can see as if there is no test what we are going to do now is to increase the space then as it is now it's too tiny so i'm going to open the space again Okay, then reduce this one. It's too big. Then I will reduce it again. I think it will be okay like this. Now duplicate it. While holding down your ALT key, then you duplicate it. Hold down your ALT key, then you click and duplicate it.
All right. Now I'm going to group this one all together. Then you group it. Then I'm going to copy the name of the test here to use as the name here so that I will quickly recognize it. So we are moving to the next one, then select your rectangle. Then apply a shape here, a corner shape. Then double click here. Then copy this color here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Before then, now hold down your Alt key. Okay. Now select the tool and apply vertical alignment so that it will centralize it. Position it around here. Then I'm going to import this image Reduce the size, then right click, create a clipping mask, then increase it a little. All right, okay. So, the next thing now, select it while holding your shift key. Then I'm going to rename this one as image one. Then control plus J to duplicate it. Then I'm going to rename this one as image two. You reduce it then position it around here then rotate this one increase this one then you rotate it okay Then click the picture and delete. Then import this image. Reduce the size. Then you rotate it. Rotate it bit. Then create a clipping mask. Then 
Vai ser o quê? Now, duplicate it again. Then I'll rename this one image tree. Then position it here. It's okay like this. Then you rotate it a bit. Then you delete the image. Import this one. Reduce the size. Then you rotate it. Position it well as you want it to be. Then you create a clipping mask. Then increase it. Then I'm going to draw another rental go behind it. Then apply this color here. Then right click on it, then rasterize it, go to your lasso tool, then you click here, go to the center, then click out, then you join it together, then you delete it, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then copy this test here. Select your test tool. Then Ctrl V to paste. Centralize it. Then you close the space. Then make it bold. Then change the color to this background color. Then you drag it here. Now I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Enter this code here. So now we have a shadow now. Okay. Now group them together. So this one is left behind. Open it, then you drag it in, then you close it. So now they are together. Then I'm going to rename it as one student. Okay. Then I'm going to copy this one. Then select my rectangle. 
then I'll draw a line here I mean a rectangle here then apply this color select your test to then control plus B to paste then you drag it to this rectangle then increase the font size then you select the two apply vertical and the horizontal alignment then copy this one You select your test tool again or press T on your keyboard. Then change the font color to white. Duplicate it. Then you copy this test here. Highlight it and paste it. Then increase the font size. Then copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then you drag this one, come down, highlight it and Ctrl plus V to paste it. So do the same thing here again by duplicating it. Alright. So the next one now. I'm going to copy this one. Select your test tool, then you paste it here. Then increase the font size. Using your arrow key. Then I'm going to change this color by copy the color here. Then also change this one. Now so then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then close it then drag it then you can now paste it Reduce the font size. You can type what best describe learning here on your own. So don't follow what I'm uh, 
using here change the font color to white then apply changes here Now use your cursor to arrange it. Then it's okay like this. Then now the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a rectangle line here to separate between the two. Then duplicate this one. Use your arrow key then to move this one up and use your arrow key to move this one down. Now change the color. So you can see now. Now I'm going to import the image I'm going to use here. This image is not that good. So if you are doing your design, please get a high resolution image because this one is not good. Then create a clipping mask. Now I'm going to group them. Then this one, I will name it date. Then this one as contacts. So contact information. And the last one, I'll group it. So for more information, All right. So I'm doing adjustment. So that is all. So any other thing you can do adjustment, position it well as you want it. Then I'm going to increase this one. So okay like this. Then another thing again. So there is no logo. So I'm going to type here. So here is for school logo. So if you have a logo, then you can place a logo here. Then open the space. Then apply center alignment. Then alight this L. Make it capital letter. Okay. Then you position it somewhere around here. Good. All right. So that is it for the tutorial.
So if this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and make a comment. So thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you.